Janique here, Janique TV. This is my last message in this outfit. I'm gonna go change and then come back with another word. Okay, my, my YouTubers, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, you know what we do on content day. But listen, uh, before we get started, click the notification bell, click the subscribe button, you know, all that good stuff. You know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say because you watched the previous video. You know what I'm gonna say already. So do it. Why you ain't did it yet? Why you ain't did it yet? You don't want me to know you watching? Hide your page, okay? <laughs> Okay, so today, my last message, like I said, last message, this is what I'm going to talk to you guys about. You will not see God in your life if you don't have any faith. And I'm actually having this kind of battle with my son. It's not a battle anymore because he becoming, he's becoming more in tune with what I'm saying, but you have to teach your children about God, right? So it's interesting to see how somebody goes from a non-believer into a believer. So this is kind of like the same thing with maybe something that you're going through, right? It takes a lot of faith to believe something that is there that you can't see. God is everything, right? God is omnipresent. God is omnipotent. God is, is everywhere. God is everything. God is, is God. You know what I'm saying? Every Everything is God, right? Everything is God. That's why I see God in everything because I know God is everything, period. I know God creates everything. I can't see air, but I know air is here. I know I'm breathing and breathing out something. I can't see it though. I can't feel it. It's, it's subconsciously happening. I'm not even telling myself to breathe. It's just happening. It's just happening, right? So <laughs> why do people believe God is not there? Okay, yes, you can't see him, but you can't see a lot of things. You can't see air. I can't see gravity, right? I can't see my thoughts. I know they're there though. I hear them. I hear them talking to me, right? I can't see a lot of things, but still, that's why God requires faith. How can you have God if you have no faith? Faith without works is dead. So if you believe in God and you have faith that he's there, then you're going to put some action behind your thinking that God is there, behind your belief in God, and you're going to produce some works, right? You feel what I'm saying? So I think that's important to recognize in somebody's life, right? When people say they, they got God and they believe in God, but I don't see them doing no action. I don't see them taking no action and nothing new. I don't see them putting their faith in nothing. I see them just not doing anything but going to church. Do you really have faith in the Lord? And I think the preacher should start preaching this. Where is your faith at? Where is your faith at? I be watching these sermons these days and I didn't get nothing from the word. I'm like, what is he talking about? I read the Bible last night and I didn't interpret it like that. What are you saying? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm confused. What are you talking about? But that's how I understand it. There's a different type. There's levels to God. It, it truly is. There are some people who are lukewarm Christians. And I use this word Christian so loosely because I don't like being labeled. But I understand the realm that I'm in. And I understand the lane that I'm in in life, right? I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. So Christianity would be the closest thing to my religion, right? But... I think it's important to recognize that in the Bible, there were Pharisees who swore that they, they did everything right, but they were really secret sinners. And they would always try to question Jesus, you know what I'm saying, and test him, you know what I'm saying, and, and see if he really knew the word, if he really was living the word, instead of believing in him and believing in what he said and believing in what he stood for, and believing in what he came to do. They chose not to do that. They chose not to believe in God. Because that's ultimately who Jesus is, God in the flesh. So they chose not to believe. And I think I see that a lot in today's society. I actually met somebody. And you know what? What's so crazy is people believe in God until they meet somebody who truly believes in God. That's the crazy part. Some some people you meet will really make you question like your, your belief in God for real. Like I met somebody and he was telling me how much he believed in God. And he was a God-fearing man. And God talked to him. And God did all this, whatever. And I stayed silent. Right. I didn't I didn't I didn't talk too much about my relationship with God with him because I like to see people for who they are. So you tell me all this. I'm like, hmm, it sounds good. It sounds good what you're saying. Right. But time is a teller of all things. Time is going to reveal everything to me that I need to know about your relationship with God. So just watching people engage in in reckless behaviors, people engage in their addictions, people feeding their sin, people just just switching up being double-minded and being one person one day and another person the next day and people not saying true to themselves and people being swayed by the population being swayed by the world swayed by money you know money makes a lot of people move money can't make me move money can't make me move money is not going to make me move god is going to make me move that's who i follow the holy spirit so just watching this guy do this and, and just ultimately seeing him 
turn from real to fake just seeing him reveal his true colors because people can only fake for so long but it's like god just told me to wait be patient like i'm gonna show you if i really if i'm really with this person just be patient i'm gonna show you if i'm really with this person i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you when god really re revealed to me that he was not walking with this man i knew it the whole time i'm like dang you almost had me going, but he has so many other people going. He has a platform, and he he has people fooled, bamboozled even, thinking that he is this man of God when he's really not. When he's really not. Secretly, he's fighting addictions, engaging in his addictions. So I can't even say fighting. You know what I'm saying? Addicted to all kinds of things. You know what I'm saying? Secretly, he is a horrible person. Secretly, he is... is <laughs> I, I'm not even going to talk too much about it, but... You have to watch who you follow because you don't know what people are secretly doing. I would not be doing anything in private that I wouldn't want to be revealed in public, you know. But God is not one who would embarrass you. He's He's never going to do that. You never see in the Bible that God embarrasses anybody who, who loves him, who follows him, who truly is walking with him. He's not going to embarrass him. The devil embarrasses people. That's what he does. God allows you to come to terms with whatever you're dealing with in private. He allows you to, to resolve your issues in private. He allows you to deal with your sins in private, right? And then that's why you see a lot of people like, say, say for instance, Kurt Franklin, I think he talked about him having a pornography addiction. We didn't know that because God didn't choose to embarrass him. God didn't choose to expose him because that's not who he is. He's your father, right? Your parents are not going to truly try to embarrass you. Your parents are not going to truly try to try to expose you. Your parents don't want you to be shamed by other people you know what i'm saying they don't want you to do that they want you to tell your story when you want to tell your story you to speak about this when kevin samuels died you know god rest his soul if if he's with the lord i don't know who he's with i don't know what people do before they die but um just watching how he went out you know the type of person or the type of energy he put out into the world before he died and then watching him you know him really get ridiculed after his death and, and people really be happy that he's gone there's they talk about that a lot in the bible a good ruler a good leader is not going to be is not going to be laughed at in his death he's going to be missed mourned even you know what i'm saying in his absence when he's died after death that's what's going to happen to a good leader somebody who's a good person somebody who's walking with the lord somebody who was really doing good out here in the world they're not going to be ridiculed they're not going to be laughed about people are not going to be thanking god that he's not putting that energy out in the world no more that's not what's going to happen but it's just so interesting how god will pull you up out of this earth you know what i'm saying at the drop of a dime you don't know when it's your last day Ooh, ooh, ooh you never know when it's your last day y'all you don't know you don't know how you're going to go out. He could have died any other way, y'all. He died in bed with a woman. He died in bed with a woman having sex. He died in bed having sex. Right? Something in his system. That's how he died. That's how he went out. Is that? And he left all this, this horrible legacy behind. He went out sad. Do you want to go out sad too? Right? You never know when it's your last day. Get right with the Lord. Get right with the Lord. Have faith in things unseen. That's a spiritual realm. It's things unseen. I don't know it, but I know it's happening. I know he's working for my good. Yeah, I don't see God. I haven't seen Jesus. I never met Jesus in the flesh. You know, I haven't met him yet. It, it hasn't happened for me. You know what I'm saying? But I know he's present. I know he's there. And that's who I rely on. I lean on my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to turn away from my God. I don't care what's happening. I, you got this on video. I don't care what's happening. And I make these videos because you don't know when it's your last day. I don't know when God is going to take me up out of here. I've been, I'm about to be 29 this year, but I could not make it at 29. Who knows? I'm not even going to talk like that because I believe that God is going to have me live a long life because I am a blessing to the earth. I truly am. I'm a blessing to the people I encounter. I'm not hell to the people I'm, I encounter. I don't treat anybody harshly. I try to help anybody that I can. If I have it, you have it too. It's nothing like that. But at the same time, all I can tell you to do is have faith. Believe in him. That's all you have to do. It's a, it, a, the faith of a mustard seed. All you have to do is believe in God a little bit. And he'll show you the way. He'll pull you in a little bit. I remember having trouble believing like, yo, I'm going through all this. How can somebody be real? I remember leaving the church. I remember leaving the church um, like nine years ago. Nine nine years ago, I remember leaving church. Like, and not, not turning back. Like, I can do this by myself. Like, I don't, this God that y'all talking about, I can't do it. I remember leaving. And God still having his hand on me throughout my life. And not even noticing. I could cry right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just, I believe in my God. And I want you to believe in yours too. Even if we don't serve the same God, I'm sorry for you. Cause I believe in the most. I'm sorry for you, <laughs> but um, just believe in things unseen. He's here with me right now. I feel him. I'm watching my my computer screen turn on. <laughs>
The size is crazy, y'all. I hope you got something from my message. Janique here, Janique TV. I am out. Peace.